Hey fellas, just going to do a quick um, sort of introduction video, introduction to fractions. I think most of you have done fractions at your old school or you have some sort of general understanding as to what it is. So this one will be pretty brief, just walking through the different types of fractions that there are. Some of you guys have said you really like doing fractions and I like that because I really like doing them too. I think of all the things we do, it makes a lot of sense. I think the first thing everybody needs to understand that when we talk about a fraction, we're talking about something that was whole, so one whole thing that's been broken down into little parts. So that's all we mean by fractions. If we're talking about fractions, we need it's a fraction of a whole number. Um, let's look at the three different types first, starting with probably the easiest to understand and probably the one that you've seen the most, which is the common fraction. So common fractions are things like this. My stylus pen isn't working, so I'm sorry if my handwriting's a bit dodgy. Common fractions look like this. 1 over 2, 3 over 4, which is 3 quarters, um, 1 fifth. For it to be a common fraction, it needs to have um, a smaller number on top and a bigger number underneath. And if we really get too into it, we can see that the number on top of a fraction is called a numerator. And the number down the bottom is called a denominator. So if we're looking to lock in correct mathematical language, denom, denom, I, oh, I've made a mistake here, denominator. If you're looking to lock in perfect mathematical language, just get those locked in your head. Number on top is the numerator, number on the bottom is the denominator. And you've probably seen when we've looked at um, number patterns involving fractions as well, when you add fractions together, Let's say I'm doing one half. There was a knock at the door there, so I had to pause it. I hope that worked. Anyway, let's say I'm doing one half plus one half. In a fraction, the dominator, denominator stays exactly the same. You don't add those numbers on the bottom. You just add the numbers on the top. So I'm basically just doing one plus one, which is equal to two. So I've got two twos. Another way to say that is just I've got one whole. So that's as if I've taken one thing, split it in half, and then added those two halves back together to come up with a whole number. Two two is the exact same as just saying one. I've got two twos, two halves, I've just got one whole pretty much. Common fractions have a numerator that is smaller than the denominator. Then we'll scroll across and have a look at a different type. This one is called a mixed numeral. We've also got improper. Let's do mixed numeral first. Actually, no, we'll do improper. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> Improper fractions are when you start to add some things and then the numerator becomes greater than the denominator. So let's look at something like this. Let's say somebody is very nice and they give me half a Mars bar. And I'm another good boy and I get another half a Mars bar. And then you know what? Someone doesn't know that they've already given me some Mars bars and I get another half of a Mars bar. If you add that together, the denominator stays the same. We add up the numerators. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. When the numerator, which is the number on top, becomes bigger than the um, <clears throat> denominator down the bottom, that's when we have an improper fraction. There's nothing wrong with improper fractions. We use them all the time. We can add them, we can still subtract them, we can do stuff with them. But that's when, yeah, the number on top is bigger than the number on the bottom. That's an improper fraction. You can convert an improper fraction, though. You can change it to a mixed numeral, which happens down here. So let's pick on the same one. Let's say I have three halves, which is an improper fraction. That's basically the same as having one whole and one half. Because if I have, let's say I get a Mars bar, someone cuts it in half, I get half, then I get half, and then of a second Mars bar, I also get another half. You can see here, I've got one whole Mars bar, which is my one here. And then I've got an extra half. So mixed numeral incorporates both. It has whole numbers and it has fractions. Another mixed numeral might be, you know, you might have two wholes, but two fourths. I hope that makes sense. I hope you can see how that works. The third type of fraction is probably one of the more easier ones. We use them all the time in maths, and that's just a decimal. So if I've got something like 0 0.1, that's a fraction as well. If I've got something such as 0 0.5, that's a fraction. 
One thing you need to get pretty good at is converting between decimals and common fractions and improper fractions, but we'll look at that later. 0 0.5, obviously, is another way of saying a half. So if I take something that's whole, split it in half, half of that is going to be 0 0.5, the other half is going to be 0 0.5 as well. You can combine whole numbers in there as well, obviously, like you could have 1.75, that means you've got whole, one whole and then 0.75. Anyway, that's just a basic introduction to fractions. If you didn't learn anything new, if you were watching this and thinking, I already know this, I've already done all this, that's good. That's a really good first step. We're going to move into some more complex work. Keep your eyes out for the videos as well as having a look in your Stepping Stones book. And remember, if you don't understand anything, if something in this video didn't make sense to you, come and ask me questions during our maths lessons before school at break time. Please, please, please let me do my job. Help me out. Good stuff. I like fractions, I hope you do as well.